uhali gani ni karibu katika matangazo ya moja kwa moja kutoka ndani ya ubalozi wa Marekani. Hii ni ubalozi ni leo unaitwa Mohamed Mvumbagu na leo tunakuletea fursa za tehama kwa maendeleo ya wasichana. Karibu Ni siku nzuri kabisa ambayo tunakuletea tena ubalozi leo na leo nikiwa nipo na Car- uh, Caroline Ekiasima. Nimepata jina lako? Ekiasima. Ekiasima. <laughs> ambaye yeye ni founder ama ni mwanzilishi na mkurugenzi mtendaji wa Apps and Girls ambayo inashughulika na masuala ya kufanya coding za kompyuta, za programu, lakini wanaofanya ni wasichana. Na vile vipi tutaangalia kuhusiana na masuala mazima ya niwezeshe lab. Lakini kabla tujaanza Caroline Leo ni siku ya Rock Paper Scissors Day. Unajua ina maana gani? <laughs> ni mchezo mmoja ambao uh-huh. unaweza kucheza uh, kama vile kinyuli nyuli vile za uh-huh. kwanza zamani. Uh-huh. So yenyewe ni uh, Rock Paper Scissors manake ni karatasi, uh, mkasi na na jiwe. Na na na, na, na jiwe, yes. <laughs> Sasa unavyokuwa unacheza uh, Watu wanaweza kupata maelekezo zaidi ya kuweza kucheza kupitia kwa seto Facebook ambao ni at US Embassy TZ lakini ukacheza pia na chatbot kwa sababu tunazungumzia masuala ya teknolojia ukacheza na chatbot huko ili uweze kuona unawezaje ukampiga roboti na akaweza kushinda ama wewe ukaweza kushinda vile vile tunaangalia fursa za tehama kwa wasichana Caroline ni muda gani uh, tangu umeanzisha Absent Girls Absent Girls ni nini Okay. Um so far ni miaka sita tangu nianzishe Apps and Girls. Mm-hmm. Apps and Girls ni taasisi ambao um inawezesha wasichana kutumia teknolojia. Mm-hmm. Um kubuni vitu tofauti tofauti ambavyo vinaweza kuwasaidia maisha yao na kusaidia maisha ya watu wengine so, so. pamoja na mo, um also na kuhamasisha wasichana waweze ku, kuchukua masomo ya tehama pia wakifika chuo au ngazi ya juu kwa sababu ni kitu kikubwa sana ambacho kinawasaidia. Mm-hmm. Um sisi apps and girls tuna tuna tunafanya um tuna tunafanya haya yote kwa njia tofauti tofauti. Tuna ya kwanza tunaandaa clubs na ambao ya code tunaita coding clubs na ambao wanafunzi wa secondary um mno mno public schools uh, shule za kata na ambao wana labs mostly computer labs so, so. tuna 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 tunakuwa tunawafundisha in those clubs tunawafundisha coding mfano jinsi ya kutengeneza tovuti jinsi ya kutengeneza uh, applications za, za kutumia kwenye simu mm-hmm. um, and then ukitoka hapo nao wanakuwa wana fursa sasa uh, kila Jumamosi wakiweza wanafika ofisini kwetu tunafanya tunawapa ujuzi zaidi kwa sababu kuna lab kabisa kuna computer za kutosha na kuna wataalamu wa kuwasaidia wengineo wana wana, wana, wana wana wanakuwa wana ideas like sisi kama msengaza tukiti tu kwenye kufundisha tu technology technology lakini tunawawezesha waingize na ujasiamari mm. je ameshajua kutengeneza labda tovuti au mobile application anawezaje kuitumia hiyo 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 skill kutatua tatizo kwenye jamii okay. na ambao tatizo uh, na ambao solution ambayo atakao tengeneza linakuwa pia linaingiza kipato kwa hiyo tunahamsisha hivyo hivyo lakini tuna programs tofauti pia na ambao zinarenga uh, mabinti na ambao wameacha shule zamani wamekosa kuendelea nao tunawaleta wanamaliza miezi sita kwenye uh, eneo yetu kutoka Tanzania yani nzima watu kwa sasa hivi tuna wabinti 35 na ambao wametoka Tanzania nzima mm. wanajifunza uh, uh, teknolojia za juu kutengeneza yeni products na ambao zinatumika na kampuni tofauti tofauti hata ukiwa na kampuni sasa hivi ukitaka kumwajili binti na ambao anaweza kusaidia kwenye mambo ya IT apps and girls is the right place yani ni sehemu ya kwako na ambao kama unataka uh, wako tayari ndio ingawa wajamaliza form 4 wengine wengine wamaliza form 6 lakini yani kwenye masuala ya tehama yana yana elimu wako vizuri eh, yani elimu yani si kwamba nitabidi malize sijui chuo kikuu ndo uweze kufanya kitu no yani utayari wako ndo unatusaidia unakuweza kuweka kwenye yani unakuwezesha wewe uweze kufanya vitu sawa so, labda kwa swali la haraka haraka swali yeah. la msingi zidi wasichana ambao mnaenda kuwatafuta au ambao mnawaalika mm. umri wao ni umri gani aha kwa hiyo sisi tu tunaanzia hata tunaanzia tu, tu, kwenye wasichana wa miaka 14 mpaka um, 26 mm-hmm. kwa sababu na programs tofauti tofauti za kila age 
lakini uh, kushirikiana na also na Enlab hiyo niwezeshe lab uh, tuna program ya watoto pia nambo wale wanataka yani wana ile hamu hata kuwa introduce kwenye technology kwa hiyo tunaanzia kwenye miaka miaka sita mpaka kumi. tuko tunazungumzia apps and girls yeah. sasa hivi tunazungumzia niwezeshe lab niwezeshe lab ni nini uh, niwezeshe lab uh, ni nafasi na ambao uh, vijana wa jinsia yoyote wanaweza kuja wakasapotiwa kwenye masuala ya teknoloji pia mm. yani ni kama sisi ni ndugu apps and girls na niwezeshe ni ndugu um, um, na pia kuna upande wa chuo ukitaka kusoma certificate diploma uh, washakuwa washakuwa mmeshasajiliwa na NACTE na no. VETA yani yani afu kizuri zaidi ni kwamba masomo yale si kwamba nakita tu kwenye yani ya darasani tu ina kuongezea pia yani una graduate unakuwa una 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 graduate unakuwa una una, una yenu na hata project yako na mradi wako na mbao ushaanza mm. kuimplement lakini uh, apart from that um, kuna project na mbao uh, ni ni maarifa which is uh, project ya ni ya, 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 ya niwezesha lab which no. is in lab mm. na mbao pia nasaidia vijana wanao maliza form 6 ina waleta yani during that time yani na wahamasisha in, such that waweze kufikiria before wajaingia chuo waweze kufikiria jeans tofauti ya 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 ku, ya, ku, ya, ku, ya 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 ku, kutumia technology na kubuni vitu tofauti tofauti hata kachukua course tofauti anakuwa anakuwa kwamba you can do this unaweza kutengeneza hiki hata kabla hujaenda chuo hata kufika chuo si lazima utegemee uh, kuajiliwa ya kwa hiyo na support pia hivyo na kuna vijana pia nao wanafanyia mentorship hapo pao wana taram pia wanafanyia yani wakiana projects nao wanafanyia yani waweze ku, kutengeneza projects na mbuzi na zina zinaboresha Tanzania yetu. Kwa hiyo wewe unamaanisha kwamba uh, unaviamini ama unataka kuniaminisha kwamba IT ama masuala ya kutengeneza programu uh, coding sio lazima usome ila inaweza ikawa ni kama ujuzi ambao unaweza kujifunza. Mhm. Ndio si lazima kwa ile si lazima usome. Mimi yes nimesomea computer science ya. Yeah? but nimekutana na watu na mbao hata wajawahi kanyaga kwenye darasa like la degree kusoma computer au kusoma IT lakini wanafanya mambo mengi makubwa mm. na pia kuangalia yani na ushuhuda ambao tunao yani muangalie mwanafunzi wa form 2 form 4 form 3 mm. umeona lakini ameweza yani kutokana na mafunzo yetu ameweza kutengeneza uh, product na mbao anatumia teknolojia hapa 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 Tanzania kwa kweli curriculum yetu at, atufundishia ya mambo you see mm. na watoto wengi hawana access ya hizo computers you know training hizo you know but yani huyo mtoto bila hatajafika chuo lakini ashaanza ku, kutengeneza vitu kutumia tehama na mbao vinasaidia Tanzania yetu na vinasaidia wananchi wetu afu pia vinamletea kipato so. yani aitegemee kusijuende chuo sijuende wapi hata kama okay. lawyer hata kama labda, nani labda labda tukiangalia kwa upande mwingine wa utambuzi Mmefisa kama mmefanya kwa muda mrefu na mnaonekana kama mmefanya mambo mengi sana kama niwezeshe lab lakini pia kama apps and girls. Ndiyo. Ukiwa kama mkurugenzi mtendaji wa apps and girls. Yeah. Labda na wewe pia ni alumni wa program ya Yale. Yeah. Yeah. Ulivyokuwa umeenda Marekani kuweza ku uh, katika exchange program ya Yale. Mm. Ni vitu gani ambavyo ulijifunza ambavyo ulileta kwa apps and girls ama uliishibisha kwa niwezeshe mm-hmm. lab pia? Yaani, yani kwa kweli jamani, tunasema iki. Yaani um, nilianzisha apps and girls um, pamoja na kuwa na support ya mlango. Wote tulikuwa wataalamu wa, wa teknolojia tu. Tulikuwa tuna elimu yoyote ya ujasiriamali, yani sisi tulikuwa tuna ile passion tu ya kufanya kitu. Umeona? Lakini sasa yale yalivyokuja yani hapo na kipindi nakumbuka naenda yani ndo tulikuwa kwenye yani tu, situation kwamba tuna hela mm. na yani tulikuwa tuna business model yani ya, ya kuendesha organization na kuendesha hata enlab pia um, lakini nilipofika yale yani utaalamu unaopata yani vitu unavyopata mafunzo connections yani na experience ile ya kutembelea kampuni nyingine kuongea na watu yani hivyo vyote yani vili, vili ni, yani vilinifanya yani mpata ideas nyingi sana ya kuboresha apps and girls yeah na tulivorudi uh, 
maana hata tunaona apps ngao zinaendea lakini ilikuwa na LK na yumba kwa sababu kwa na hela tuko kinjui tufanyeje umeona lakini tu hivurudi ndo hapo sasa mbinu za kufundwa hizo zikaingia even programs wewe kwa tuna 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 produce tuna tunatoa yani tukabadilisha model model na mbo tunakuwa tunazitoa mm. na hapo Enlab ndo tukaongezea ile ile chuo kwa sababu na actually na huyo founder Enlab naye ni yali actually kwa hiyo alipoenda pia yani kila kitu yani ujuzi wote alioleta yani everything no man unaona yani kila kitu so far kinaenda vizuri kwa hiyo ulitoka katika kufanya kama passion yes. kwa kupenda kuhamishia kuwa katika ujasiri ya yeah, mambo yeah 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 Yeah, kwa sababu tulienda kwenye program ya business and entrepreneurship mm. no ujasiriamali huyo ya ndio ilikuwa mara kwanza yani kusoma hicho course kama hiyo ya na ilikuwa yani challenging kwa sababu ni vitu vilikuwa yani sijawahi kusoma yani so, so. lakini kwa upande mwingine ilikuwa kwa sababu vina relate najua hiki nitakiweka hapa hmm? iki kinafaa hapa kinafaa hapa kinafaa kwa hiyo it was the right time yani ni kwenda na na, na, na kusaidia yani hata hii taasisi hata na watu kutoka tunafanya na connection zile zitengeneza zi, yani nilipotoka Marekani karudi yani hapo ndo milango ikafunguka na kizuri barozini kwa wanani support sana 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 mm-hmm. milango ikafunguka nikashinda mashindano mengine tena that same year karudi Vegas yani yani everything vilikuwa vinafanyika vizuri vizuri mpaka mpaka napata awards yani na, na, natamani na, natamani kuendelea kusikiliza uh, simulizi yes. yako bila shaka pia mtazamaji na tamani sana kuweza kuendelea kusikiliza simulizi tutarudi baada ya muda mfupi naenda kupata mapumziko ambayo tutaangalia video inaonyesha uh, tech camp ya kwanza camp ya kwanza ama sema kambi kambi ya kwanza ya teknolojia ambayo ilifanyika nchini Marekani alafu tutarudi kwa sababu wewe pia unaendesha The tech camp is something amazing especially for me it's like my first time getting to know more about the internet. Tech camp was awesome. These are like kind of things like that I've always wanted to learn but I've never had the time or the resources to sit around and learn about. So for me it was like yay. Today we taught them two tools. Um, we taught them the X-ray goggles first and then Thimble. Thimble is a is a app or a, I think it's a Mozilla program that allows you to do basic web design but it makes it simpler so it's easier to understand. It's great just watching them um, figure out how they can play around with the web and not have the web be this static uh, thing that we all thought it was, you know, you just go on there and you view it and you get out, but you can actually go in there and manipulate it and and actually put a bit of your own flavor or creativity into it. The kids today are so enthusiastic. It's so wonderful to work with a group where, you know, they're just so passionate about different things and you can hear just when they talk about what what kind of web pages they want to make. It's sort of like all that they need is the tools and you could let them go and they'll just do awesome things with it. Nowadays, technology is like everywhere. So everyone can uh, apply uh, technology and do internet to research and for having fun and share ideas, share, sharing op- opinions about anything. For me too, I really want to go into marketing and I think this is a very good opportunity for me. Sometimes when you, know, when you need to propagate or market about an idea or a project, you use social media and internet and the, with using this uh, technology, Um, you can, it makes it easier for you to um, share ideas and sp- spread the word about it. I mean, to think about the web that right up until now, for some of them, it was just something that was, you, you take it as it is, you can't do anything with it. I think a lot of them will go back with that idea that they can change it and create change, not only on the web, but apply it across the board in terms of their life. ndio kwanza unajiunga nasi hii ni ubalozini leo nami ni Mohamed Vumbagu na leo nipo na Caroline hapa jina la mwisho siwezi kulitaja nitakuja kulikosea tena nipo na Caroline ambaye ni CEO na mwanzilishaji wa na mwanzilishi wa uh, Absent Girls nitaka kuweza kwa kwa kwa, kwa, kwa Kiswahili 
wasichana na na application. Na applications. Hapana. <laughs> ah, okay, tunaenda kupata maswali mawili matatu ambayo yameshaingia pamoja na comments zako ambazo ume comment katika uh, sehemu ya comment hapo kupitia Facebook @usembassytz lakini vipi pia kumbuka unaweza kutufuatilia kupitia @usembassytz kupitia Twitter, Instagram lakini vile vile pia ukatufuata katika @usembassy uh, kupitia uh, YouTube. Anasema anaitwa Gasto Mgomoka tuko pamoja kutoka Morogoro mjini. Asante sana Gasto, Gasto lakini vile vile pia kuna mwingine anasema yeye anaitwa Bigirwa R Ernest. Anasema nipo hapa Katox Computer Dar es Salaam Mwenge stand ya zamani. Asante sana Bigirwa kwa kuweza kuwa nasi moja kwa moja lakini vile vile pia Hamisi Ali anasema tuko pamoja kutoka Kinondoni mkoa Juni. Asante sana Hamisi na vile vile pia tunasema Uh, tunaongea na Shaban Masud kutoka Zanzibar. Asante sana kutoka pale Zanzibar. Na vile vile pia Shaban Masud ameuliza je, ubalozi wa Marekani unashukaje kwa watu wa ngazi za chini hapa Zanzibar ili waweze kujua masuala ya tehama? Lakini vile vile pia Caroline asabu kwa sababu wewe unahusika na masuala ya um, tehama, hasa kwa wasichana na vile vile pia kwa watu wote kupitia Universal Love. Na wewe pia ni alumni wa barabara za Marekani yeah. unaweza kujibu hilo swali kwa namna moja ama nyingine. Unafanya program yote Zanzibar? Aha, yeah. Yeah, Apps and Girls um, Zanzibar tunafanya kwa tunafanya tunafanya trainings, workshops mm-hmm. na mbao si continuous kama hapa za da kwa sababu bado tujapata partner ambao wa kushirika naye such as to fully establish ourselves and to tuanzishe yani kamili Apps and Girls Zanzibar. Ni tamaa ambayo tunataka kufanya mm-hmm. na kama kuna mtu huko na ambao angependa kutu kuungana na sisi kufanya hicho tutafurahi zaidi lakini mwaka jana Zanzibar tumefundisha walimu mia moja uh, masuala ya programming such that waweze kufundisha watoto na mbao uh, au mabinti na 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 na, 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 na kwenye masu, masomo ya sekondari um, masuala ya tehama kambaya na mwaka huu pia tunakuja tena tunafundisha wanafunzi walimu pia mia moja na kama upo Zanzibar na ungependa uh, tufanye workshop labda una venue afu na audience na mbona ungependa tufanye tufundishe au tu, tunaweza kusaidia vijana ku, kubuni ideas kufanya nini vitu tofauti tofauti wasiliana na sisi jamani sisi tuko tayari yani tunawakaribisha na nitafurahi sana kuona Zanzibar nyie mnaoangalia sasa hivi yeah na labda mnafanyaga pia hizi huwa mnafanya pia hizi kambi kwa ajili ya mafunzo. Mm-hmm. Kambi kwa ajili ya mafunzo utaratibu wake wa kujiunga kwa yule mbaya yuko tayari kuweza kuvutiwa mm-hmm. kujiunga naye we. Uh, anatakiwa kufanya kitu gani? Aha. Uh, cha kwanza ni ni kwa, for, for example akiingia kwenye website yetu ataona out of vuti yetu ataona programs ambazo tunafanya. Tovuti ambayo ni ni apps na www.appsandgirls.com. Okay. Yeah. So ukiingia okay, kwenye www.appsandgirls.com unasoma program zetu zote na ukipenda okay, hapo ndo unapo kuna form. Kila program ina form ya ku apply. Mm-hmm. E, mfano um wa ile program ambayo inaitwa Jovi ambayo inakusanya mabinti na ambao wajamaliza shule uh, kuwaleta kwenye hiyo program ya miezi sita hiyo tushaanza ku recruit tena ta intake nyingine tunatafuta mabinti uh, albaini na ambao tunataka wajoin kwenye program yetu hiyo mm. baada ya kujifunza wanawe, watakuwa washatengeneza products wengine tunawapeleka different companies na kufanya kazi za kutumia tehama na tuna watu watu hapo wanatoka Zanzibar actually na ambao wako kwenye program hapa sasa hapa Dar es Salaam yeah. kwa hiyo yani Ah, yeah, ukipenda okay, unafanya hivyo uh, na pia unaweza kutembelea ofisi zetu ziko Kinondoni um, Kinondoni mtaa mafere Kinondoni vijana mtaa wa Mafere uh, nyumba namba 22 ya yeah, tuko hapo kuanzia mande mpaka ujum, mpaka Jumamosi tunakukaribisha yani unakuja hapo unajisajili na na hivyo hivyo Mostly ni simu kwa ajili ya upatikanaji wa haraka Aha sifuri Uh, ukitaka pia unaweza kutupigia simu kwa 0658 mhm uh, 05 03 83 08 06 08 03 08 08 08 08 08 ya na na pia like tuna project ambayo tunafanyaga na na ubarozi wa Marekani ni, ni summit ambayo ni kubwa sana ni kongamano kubwa sana ambayo inakusanya um, um, mabinti wa sekondari wote ambao wame 
wana, wana interest na tehama mm. tunaingiza kwenye workshops zetu wanajifunza wanatengeneza innovations tofauti tofauti then hiyo siku wanaionesha na hiyo pia nakuja kwa hiyo kama ni binti au, au na mdogo wako au na mtoto na mbo wako tayari anataka ku, kuunganisha ku, ku, kujiunga na hiyo kitu no, unaweza kuasiana na sisi kama shule yako bado tujatembelea tuna club unaweza kutuambia pia tu, 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 tuje tuna timu na mbao um, afu uzuri timu yetu ni wale mabinti unajua na mbao tumeanza nao wanajua kabisa teknolojia na wako tayari sasa kusambaza hiyo elimu na labda uh, ukizungumzia klabu mm. umri wa klabu ndio kuanzia miaka 14 na kuendelea yes kwa hiyo hakuna umri wa tofauti chini ya hapo yeah hamna umri tofauti la lakini Tuzung... tukatazi watu mm-hmm. tuzungumzie mm. international recognition sasa yeah. mnafanya mengi kupitia klabu kupitia mm. summits kupitia yeah. um, kushirikiana na wadau wengine tofauti mm. utambuzi wa kimataifa ni kitu gani ambacho mmeshafanya au ambacho mmekuja kutambuliwa kimataifa kuna namna ipi mm-hmm. paka sasa okay um, cha kwanza ni ningependa ku, ku, kusema kwamba um, um, tu atufanyi ta, atufanyi Tanzania pia tuna partner tuna tuna partners Kenya na ambao tunafanya nao na partners DRC na ambao tunafanya nao na na juzi tumeingia Uganda tena kuleta services zetu huko lakini uh, ukiangalia kwenye kimataifa yani kwanza wa, wa binti wetu na ambao wametoka kwetu yani wameshine sana yani uraya kabisa wa binti wameshinda awards na ule binti anaitwa Asha basi alishinda um, award ya ya 25 under 25 mm-hmm. it was awarded by um, ile internet society kwa sababu alitengeneza a product na ambao inasaidia kutatua tatizo alitengeneza a system na ambao um, wa, wa, youth vijana wakaenda pale wanapata masuala ya, ya, ya kijinsia wanapata counseling wanapata hiyo kwa hiyo hiyo taasisi kubwa ya, ya kimarekani internet society ili muone kama recognize kama mtoto mmoja namba ametumia internet kusaidia watu wengine wamepata mfano modesta na amepata award huko marekani La, lakini pia na sisi yani uh, 2018 to 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 the the best innovation of the year awarded by the um, um, aid international aid forum and then um na mwaka huu tumepata award ya ya nao toka Ufaransa ya 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 kuwa taasisi ambao inafanya ina 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 support inatumia teknolojia ku support um, inclusive 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 innovation mjumuishi tuseme ushirikishwaji yeah ushirikishaji wa kila wakati mtu kwa sababu sisi hatutengi mtu just depends on yani interest yako ndo tunao tunayotaka tu na pia um, kila mwaka tunapeleka team na ambao ina ina represent nchi mm. mm, team hiyo inatengeneza robot inaenda mashindano makubwa na ambao unakuta nchi zaidi ya mia moja sitini zina participate huko mara ya mwisho bwana tuliagana wakati ukiwa bado uko uwanja wa ndege wakati mkiwa na bendera yenu kubwa kabisa mmefunika robot yenu pale hey. wakati kwenda katika mashindano <laughs> Ah, unaweza kupata picha zote hizo kupitia ukurasa wa Facebook wa Apps and Girls. Ukaweza kuangalia jinsi walivyokuwa wanajiandaa lakini vipi vipi jinsi walivyoenda katika mashindano na wakashiriki. Ilikuaje changamoto ambazo umekutana nazo kule? <laughs> Kwanza. Mm. Eh, kwa experience nzuri sana. Mm-hmm. Kwanza kwa watoto kwa sababu ulikuwa mara ya kwanza yani wengi kusafiri kutoka Tanzania na also um, wengi tulikuwa tunatazama robot tunaangalia robot kwenye kwenye TV kwenye movie unaona tunasikia tu lakini hicho mm. kitu kilikuja hapa watoto ile robot ikatengenezwa kuanzia from the scratch yes watengeneza kwa sababu kila inchi inatumiwa vifaa kwa hiyo utabidi mbuni design ya robot yenu na mbao afu kulikuwa kuna challenge like nitabidi mm. fanye hiki sasa tikifika kule zikawa zinapambana sasa zishinde itabidi iwe competent kwa hiyo yani ilikuwa 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 experience nzuri sana watoto walipenda sana tukawafundisha programming mm. wakaibuild wakaassemble tulikuwa tunawasaidizi our engineers nao pia mfano engineer mkufu na anafanya kazi ya NESCO yani alikuwa anasaidia kwenye mechanical part yani tulivyofika pale sasa yani yeah! 
Una, una design na moja wai kuona wai fikiria <laughs> watoto wale yani wamezaliwa yani yani robots yani robots kama ni kama maisha yao yani mm. sisi huku tu kwa mara kwanza ya kuiona kwa hiyo lakini watoto nao penda wakawa na ujasiri no. na wali waliingeji sana na watoto wengine walokuwa wana robots wengine wana wanachukua idea zuku wanaleta huku wanaweka hapa wana wanapambana yani yani tunafika kwenye game kwenye arena wana sawa, sawa. Yani, kuna yani, comment moja ambayo imeingia sasa hivi ambayo nataka niweze kuisoma kabla hatujaweza kumaliza kipindi chetu uh, naitwa Shaban Masud tena anasema jeu mwanzo Marekani unashukaji kwa watu wa ngazi za chini hiyo tayari uh, tumeshaiona anasema uh, Here ni queue ama okay tuseme wa kwile nana nimepita jina la mwanzo hilo sitaki kukosea nikasababisha matatizo mengine tena na wasikiliza kutoka Egypt hapa uh, fursa hizo tunapataje wanawake ambao tupo nje ya Tanzania ila ni wa Tanzania Absent girls mna partner ambao msema mnafanya nao kazi ndio same mbali mbali mna partner wote ambao wako Egypt uh, kwa kwa Egypt sasa hivi tujapata partner mm. yote na nge nangetunge furai kabisa kwa mm. sababu um, program zetu tunazofanya yani zina ni, ni, ni zinahitaji sana zinasaidia kila mwanamke bila shaka nana anaweza kashiana nayo kupitia yes, ukurasa wako wa Facebook alafu yeah. mkaweza ku, mm. uh, ku yeah. connect na kujua mnaweza mkasaidia vipi wasichana yeah. pamoja na wanawake ambao kwenye Tanzania vile vile yeah. sana sana kwa koe ambao umetuangalia kuanzia mwanzo mpaka wakati huu hii ni ubalozi ni leo na tulikuwa tuko na Caroline uh, jina la mshauri atamalizia mwenyewe <laughs> kwa ajili ya uh, kutoka Absen Girls Ndiyo. lakini vile vile pia tumezungumzia masuala ya fursa za tehama kwa wasichana uh, na maendeleo ya siku za usoni tumeangalia pia changamoto ambazo mkutano nazo lakini tumeangalia pia namna gani kama msichana anaweza akashiriki ama akajumuika na Absen Girls lakini vile vile pia kupitia niwezeshe lab mtu yoyote mwingine ambaye si msichana anaweza pia aka ambaye anapenda kwa masuala ya teknolojia mm. masuala ya coding mm. akaweza ku, uh, kuingia mm. na kuweza kujifunza zaidi mm. kumbuka kwamba ubeluzi leo inakujia kila siku ya Jumanne kutoka saa 6:30 mpaka saba kamili za mchana na unaweza kutufuatilia kupitia ukurasa wetu wa Facebook moja kwa moja at @usmbasitz lakini vile vile pia tunapatikana kupitia Instagram, Twitter na YouTube at @usmbasitz. Leo ni siku ya Rock Paper Scissors Day. Tucheze Rock Paper Scissors Day. Rock Paper Scissors. Ah. Okay, mara mwisho tena Rock Paper. Ah. Okay, mpaka wakati mwingine. <laughs>